This is the book of Second Exodus, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou well understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Barak thy Yahweh, 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 Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Rakakwadash. And before I get started into this lesson, I want to get out on it. I mean, I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone Rule, where it been a great example to his young brothers and the truth. And peace and blessings to the hopeful lick, a little when this edifying. This is another edition of Measure Thou the Time Diligently. And Lord willing this edifying. It's not just a nat uh, jobs issue, it's a national security issue, and we've got to wake up as a country. Well, Adrian Mitch, China owns close to 200,000 acres of land in the U.S., worth close to $2 billion. And now some American leaders, they're very upset over China's recent purchase of land near an Air Force base. The question centers around a controversial land sale between North Dakotans and a company with ties to Beijing. Tonight, an unprecedented warning from the world's top intelligence agencies. In their first ever joint speech, FBI Director Chris Wray and his British counterpart, MI5 Director Ken McCollum. It's interesting because, I mean, do you know how long this has been going on? Uh, well, you know, the interesting part is that uh, we saw a tremendous Chinese buying activity about five years ago, and then since then it has began to steadily decline. And in fact, in the past two years during the COVID environment with, you know, uh, travel restrictions in place, we have seen a substantial decline in Chinese buyers coming into the U.S. Amid Chinese company Fufeng's purchase of more than 300 acres of farmland in North Dakota, just 12 miles away from Grand Forks Air Force Base, a base with high profile and sensitive drone technology. It's a move national security experts warn could make the U.S. vulnerable. We consistently see that it's the... There's the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 6. Shall not all these take up a proverb against him in a tunt? I mean, shall not all these take up a parable, Salakia, against him in a tunting proverb against him and say, Woe unto him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid of himself in thick clay. And a miracle, <laughs> you know, not just these Edomites, but ultimately a miracle is laid, laid in, in thick clay heavily in debt man you know babylon is heavy heavily indebted to uh, 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 china you know that's how they coming over here buying up all this farmland and stuff you know or uh, uh, the bankers you know they definitely in debt to the bankers you know but they owe these people and that's a sign of, of a collapsing economy a uh, country when your enemy come in your land and buy your land because now it's their land you know in your land they buying up billions of dollars worth of land in your country you know so <laughs> hey america is done and not only are they buying your land that mean they can set up shop in that land that they bought that they possess and and build and do whatever they want on it. That's why they talking about a national security threat. Because contrary to popular belief, America will be taken out in in, in World War um in World War Three. You know, America will be taken out in, in World War Three. You know, and we speak a lot about the UN troops, America being invaded. Hey <laughs> just, just get ready, man, because we don't know exactly how it's gonna go, but it can go any way, man. America can be America can be invaded by China and Russia. This thing can go so many different ways, and it can go all ways. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just talking, but it can go all ways, man. It can go so many different ways, and we know the MOTB is gonna come. You know, but as far as the invasion, <laughs> fucking a uh, uh, damn zombie apocalypse, nah. But, you know, something like that is more than likely going to happen, man. You know? Things are going to happen that people can't prep for. The preppers ain't going to have no answer for this. 
you know, what's finna happen in this earth, man. So let's get back into this. Chinese government that poses the biggest long-term threat to our economic and national security. The U.S. and U.K. accuse China of... Get this, um, to this Joel chapter 3 and verse 10. Beat your plowshares and sword and your pruning hooks unto spears. Let the weak say I am strong. You know, and the weak going into one of the countries that was, is considered a weak country was China, man. Because China was an agricultural country. They wasn't no military, you know, uh, bomb use, you know, building armies and all this. But now look at China. They got hypersonic missiles, you know. They uh, uh, a world power. You know, they surpassed America. You know, <laughs> they got, the I think, the second largest navy. In the world, up under America, and Russia got the best ground forces. So America is in deep shit, and, and China and Russia is is aligned. They are they are a, a, a alliance, <laughs> you know. And, and China is spying on America, you know. And who who you think who else you think got their intel? Russia, man. And not only China, they, that's what they saying. If China's spying on America, you know they're spying on the rest of the NATO and EU countries, man. You know, if they the largest uh, 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 spying uh, country in the world, man. Employing a global network of spies to hack and penetrate governments, businesses, universities, even local communities to steal secrets and influence public opinion. The Chinese Communist Party is interested in our... And America do the same thing, man. America do that. That's why you have a Hong Kong and different places like that motherfucker start rioting, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, them spreading democracy. The same thing going on over there with Russia, um, Russia's adversary. You know, America do that same thing. You know, democratic media and legal systems, not to emulate them, sadly, but to use them for its gain. Yeah, and it's interesting that Chinese are not just buying uh, land in the United States, but there is a report by the USDA uh, that since 2019, 2009, forgive me, 2009, the Communist Party has actively supported investments in foreign agriculture as part of its agenda. Is that the Chinese Communist Party is part of their national strategy to replace us as a global power is seeking to dominate our supply chains. They already dominate our pharmaceuticals, they dominate solar panels and wind turbines that the left are trying to push us towards, the lithium supply, and in this case, now it's our food supply. In addition to this land that they're buying up, they've also bought the nation's largest pork processing plant, they're buying up grain mills, because they know that if they can win this economically, if they can choke us off with these key supply chains, add computer chips and all kinds of others on top of it, then they don't even have to worry about a military com conflict. But I also reached out to Gary Bridgeford, the owner of that land. I did not hear back, but he has been threatened by people as well as... Yeah, the Lord got America in a, in a pickle, man. You going to war with the motherfucker who you buy the most products from, you know? <laughs> These people are dumb, man. But the Lord is the one causing these things to happen. The Lord is in control of the king's heart. You know, so this is a beautiful thing. Hey, America is through. And they're being uh, 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 surpassed by these other nations, so to speak, such as Russia and China. And ain't nothing they can do about it because they this is a consumer nation. They don't produce a damn thing, man neighbors for selling that land to the Chinese, but we should also point out that Bill Gates also bought a whole lot of land in North Dakota, and he received a lot of scrutiny as well, saying, is this tied to China? So you said Bill Gates Bill bought Gates. land in North Dakota, about $14 million worth of land, about People 2, think that Bill acres. Gates is somehow tied to China, right? Exactly. So, so they, they, they think say a lot of Chinese land theory here as well. Yeah, connecting just the Just so dots. we're clear, different companies buying different pieces of land exactly. in the same state. Yes. And we have no direct links necessarily to Bill Gates and the Chinese government. No, but uh, speculation, conspiracy theories. But the fact, and at the end of the day, <clears throat> all these countries 
a part of the NWO, man. You know, the top of these countries, the heads of these countries, they all down with the agenda of the elites. And the elites are the so-called Rothschild, Rockefeller, DuPonts, these Edomite, rich Edomite banking families, man. They are the ones who are running things behind the scene, man. You know, the, 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 the royal families and as far as the, you know, the Pope, you know, all these different things. All these nations are, are in cahoots. You know, that's why you can say something like that. That Russia, I mean, uh, Bill Gates is tied to China. At the end of the day, yeah, because he's down with the, the, uh, the, um, NWO agenda, and he's a fucking uh, a Rothschild or Rockefeller or some shit. You know, I forgot who his grandmama go back to the motherfuckers, and also um he he a part of the NWO and, and China is too, man. They pushing this digital China pushing digital and and um a social credit score, which is gonna come to America, Babylon the Great. You know, and all this is part of one big plan. Everything that's happening. So you can't be caught up on what the news talking about. And, you know, <laughs> we, we, we deal with prophecy, man. You know? Thank you, Kelsey. I appreciate it. This has been going on for years. It's just that it hasn't been reported heavily. The biggest threat we face as a country from a counterintelligence perspective is from the People's Republic of China and especially the Chinese Communist Party. No country presents a broader, more severe threat to our ideas, our innovation, our economic security than China. Uh, and they are targeting our innovation, our trade secrets, our intellectual property uh, on a scale that's unprecedented in history. They are, have a bigger hacking program than that of every other major nation combined. They have stolen more of Americans' personal and corporate data than every nation combined. What is the FBI doing about that? So the FBI is keenly focused on the China counterintelligence threat. Uh, we are now moving at a pace where we're opening a new China counterintelligence investigation about every 12 hours. But again, I'm just glad that we're getting this story out there because, as you mentioned, it's been going on for years. We just are finally talking about it. And Moab don't have Knicks, man. Let me find this preset. I'm gonna close that. So like it. Okay, let me go out with I ain't go up in it for enough. But Jeremiah forty eight in verse Just getting a precept on how the Lord is going to destroy Moab as well. Because they are in consent with Edom. You know, the Ishmaelites, the Moabites, where it said Edom, Ishmael, Moab, um, conspired together. Uh, cutting us off from being a nation. But this Jeremiah 48 and 42 is saying Moab shall be destroyed from 
from being a people because he have magnified himself against the Lord. And the Lord going to bring Moab down. You know, because at the end of the day, all these nations are going to captivity, man. You ain't got nicks, man. Russia ain't got nicks. China ain't got nicks. You know, and there's a store going into something else, which I need to read. But there's a couple precepts in here showing how the Lord and Jeremiah 48 is not with these fucking Moabites. It's like it. Yeah, the Lord ain't with these Moabites, man. This on Jeremiah chapter 48 and verse 29, we have heard the pride of Moab. He is exceeding proud, his loftiness and his arrogancy and his pride and his haughtiness of, of his heart. I know his wrath, said of the Lord, but it shall not be so. His lies shall not so affect it. Therefore will I howl for Moab and I will cry out. For all Moab, my heart shall mourn for the men of. Well, that's going to sing this. I need to read this. You no know, going to it. <clears throat> because this is going into a store. I'm looking for another precept. But I don't know where is it. But at the end of the day, the Lord not dealing with neither one of these nations. And they all finna be destroyed. Why is this it? Speak and say. Nah, that ain't it. But that's pretty much the point. Lord, when this is edifying, I want to end it giving all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakotash, Nobal, and the the Apostles, and Elders, Great Millstone, Rule Web, and Great Example to the Young Brothers and the Truth, and Peace and Blessing to the Holy Lake. Shalom. Kwame Yashallah, Baba. Shalom.